Sup sup flappers, so in this video, I hope to help you decide whether or not Constellation 6 Xiao is worth it. I'm sure you have all heard people say that Xiao's Constellation have been debatably bad. Now, in this video, I will share with you my experience playing with a C6 Xiao and its pros and cons. So drop a like and subscribe because I will be covering numerous aspects of Xiao and doing comparisons for you all so you can get the most out of this character. Also, if you have not done so, go check out my Xiao build video where I talk about Everything regarding Xiao ranging from talent priorities to weapons, artifacts, including main stats, sub stats, and even some team suggestions. So I'm sure that video would help you out. Now, everything I mentioned are from testing done by myself. So know that they are findings and not guesses. Finally, if you applied for the giveaway and missed my live stream, I will be announcing the winner in this video. So make sure to watch through it to see if you are that lucky guy or girl. If you are the winner and you failed to contact me within 24 hours of the Discord ping notifying your win, I'm sorry, the winner will be redrawn and you will be disqualified. So make sure to contact me as soon as you see this. Now for Xiao and his constellations, let's just gloss over them really quickly and I will share with you what I think about it. Constellation 1 gives you an extra dash charge. Now. On the surface, this seems like it's not much, but we have to give it context. So at my current level, each skill dash has 480% skill damage. So combining that with Xiao's second talent, I can stack up the damage of my elemental skill and it builds up to a maximum of 45% additional damage. The thing about Xiao is that his entire kit is designed around scaling. One thing scales off of another. A good example is his burst skill. Apart from enabling him to deal plunge attacks, it also has an insane scaling which at my current level, a whopping 99.8%. So for numbers sake, let's just say 100%. Now the reason for this is because Xiao's base attack is among the highest in the game. So of course, building his kit around it is a no-brainer for Mahoyo to do. So now let's go back to constellations. Looking at constellation one, what does it actually give you? Apart from the obvious that I just mentioned, which is enabling far easier stack management, there's also one thing people are missing, and that is the potential for a one combo burst window. Now, what do I mean by that? Going back to my elemental skill, once again, as you can see, 480%. Now, if I only had two charges, I can deal 960% damage in one damage window. That, that's insane. It's just with the press of two buttons and it's this 480% skill damage. It's a 10 second cooldown. Now that's only if I had two charges. Adding a third charge now brings that number from 960% to 1440 or 1440%. Now, just looking and uttering that number just feels dirty. That's a lot of damage. Now, of course, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, hey, go get Shell Constellations because I'm not done. While Constellation 1 opens up some damage potential, we have to put this into perspective. How much difference is one extra stack really going to make? And to be frank with you all, not very much. There, I said it. <laughs> I said it. Constellation 1 shell isn't enough. Flappers, it's not worth the price tag. And here's why. Because if you can't afford another Constellation on shell, then you definitely have the funds to go for his weapon, the Jade Winged Spear. Now, why do I bring up his weapon? I thought this is a Constellation video. Well, now we are talking about cost for damage. Instead of getting another Constellation for shell, Focus on getting his weapon because this weapon is going to make a huge difference in Xiao's performance and also take huge demand off of your artifacts. Without the Jade Winged Spear, you would 100% have to build Deathmatch or have some out of this world artifact rolls to build a crit damage headpiece for Xiao. Now, you may be wondering, what's the big deal about crit damage headpieces? Well, remember what I mentioned earlier? about Xiao's innate base stats being really high. So without crit damage headpiece, Xiao fails to capitalize on one of his biggest strengths. And I just mentioned this earlier, right? Yeah, that's right. Always be thinking about your character's strength and you want to play around them. For Xiao, that is his innate high base stats and you want to scale that up as high as you humanly can. And 
His constellation will not allow you to do that. None of his constellations allows you to do that. And I think that's where the design flaw for Xiao's constellations are, is that it doesn't take into account his one biggest strength. So flappers, forget about his constellations. First, worry about how you can push beyond 50% crit rate and 160% crit damage. Then let's talk about constellations. The value for Xiao's constellations is so poor that I tell you take that money and go invest it. Now, you may be asking, well, Walrus, what about C2, C4, what about C6? It's all just not worth it. So if you have watched my Xiao guide video, I talked about this and the truth be told is if you are really looking to kit out Xiao and you have his weapon and plenty of money to spare, I need to tell you this, okay? How much do you have prepared? For Xiao. Three hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, eight hundred. Because if you're not financially prepared to go all the way C6, I'd suggest you to save your money. Honestly, it's not worth it. It really isn't. Anything below C6 is not worth it. And I'd even argue if C6 is even worth it. Now there is a world where I'd say, hey, if you want an easier time playing Xiao and you can spare $200, then yeah, go for C1. And that's it. Stop there. C2 and C4 on Xiao is undoubtedly the worst constellations I have ever seen on a 5 star. And I'm not hating. I love this character to death. In fact, I'm overjoyed that his constellations are bad because Xiao at C0 is amazing. So if you are wondering whether or not you should be getting Xiao's constellations, you can take my word to the bank with you. You don't need it. $1,000 for the ability to reset his dashes is insanely overrated. But you know what's not overrated? The winner to the giveaway. So here it is. Lim Sum Yang. Uh, I don't know if I pronounce it properly, but yes, you are the winner. Congratulations. Please message me in Discord and we can work out the details. I have already pinged everyone in my Discord. So if you followed all the instructions to the giveaway, you should have been notified. If you fail to contact me within 24 hours of the original ping on Discord, you will be disqualified. So I look forward to hearing from you. And once again, congratulations. Now let's get back to the video. And let me tell you all what the real kicker is, okay? It's the fact that your C6 isn't going to mean jack against bosses because you need to hit at least two opponents so yeah this is a constellation designed to shred mobs and go ham against group enemies it's not a universal constellation it's not building towards shell's biggest strength which is scaling flappers i hope this video has helped you through the experience of someone who does have constellation six shell don't do it save your money for someone else this has been Erotic Walrus. Make sure to like and subscribe as I have more content for you all coming in the next few days. Until the next video, stay safe and peace, peace.